everybody and welcome back. This is a video that was specifically requested by one of my Instagram followers and I just thought that's a really clever idea and I've never done it before. And yet I've been talking about it behind the scenes for a while and it is the return to single step serum moisturizers. Shock, horror, could it be happening? Yes, I think it is happening. And I'll tell you why I think it's happening. I think I've just come off of a live on IGTV talking to Andrew Weecroft where we talked about the trend for simplifying skincare that in the 30 years I've been a beauty editor we've gone from magical mystery wonderful French skincare that was just cleansed home moisturize through a sort of science explosion derm brands through to things like the ordinary where we suddenly layering multiple active ingredients in individual serums which is partly science active led and partly Korean skincare led and then all I get in my feed is, I bought five products, I don't know how to use them, help. So what I think has happened is there hasn't been exactly a backlash, but there's been a demand from a certain type of consumer. Probably, I suspect, a person of a certain age, and that means a lot younger than me, trust me, who simply wants to put their faith and trust in one or two steps. So I thought I'd look back at some of my favorite, new, improved, and existing single step products and you know it's very interesting I interviewed uh, Terry de Gunsberg the other day by Terry when she launched her new single step cream the hyaluronic face cream that I mentioned in my gel moisturizers which I absolutely love and she created that to be a single step it's hyaluronic acid it's got peptides in it's got antioxidants in it can be used around the eyes on the neck on the throat on the face it sits beautifully under makeup and I she typifies this movement so I thought I'd look at some of the ones that are coming out let's start with one that I've always used for a long time and sort of fits into the category but I think it's an early adopter and that is skin skin cuticles metacell renewal and this is the their original niacinamide serum and it's a niacinamide and it's loaded with hyaluronic acid and what I'm going to demand from these products which I think is really interesting is that they behave as a neck cream, an eye cream, a hyaluronic acid cream, normally a niacinamide, but certainly some sort of skin boosting, skin function vitamin cream. A lot of them have peptides in, but it's also a moisturizer and it's got antioxidants. That's what you're getting from a single product. So if they come in slightly more expensive, forgive me, the reason is, is because they are multifunctioning. Rather than buying three separate serums, you can just rely on one serum and then put your SPF on top and you're ready to go. And one of the original ones I fell in love with, as I said, was SkinCeuticals Metacell Renewal B3, which is their niacinamide glycerin serum. And it's, it's, it repairs your barrier function, it's lovely to use, it protects your skin, it's got low level antioxidants in, not like obviously C ferulic, it's designed to be put over the top of that, but you could technically get away with that on your own. It works beautifully around the eyes, over the lips, down the neck, onto the chest. But let's be honest here, things have moved on. And I want to talk about two or three products that I like, that I've used, that I want to highlight. And the first one actually is a brand new one from Origins. And this is the new Origins Plantscription Multi-Powered Youth Serum. And when I looked at this, I thought this is really interesting. And I tell you why. It's £42, so it's fairly reasonably priced. Six peptides, hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, and it's vegan. So what you're getting here is you're getting your hyaluronic acid, but you're also getting the addition of the peptides and you're getting the addition of the niacinamide. That's sort of what you would expect from a multi-function single step skincare product. Now, I'm not saying you can't layer a vitamin C underneath. I'm not saying that you couldn't use it at night over retinol. I'm not saying you couldn't use it during the day, maybe with an acid or something like that. But I'm saying it's a kind of suits all skin types, all skin ages, all genders, suits everybody. It's a sort of... It's almost like the perfect little black dress. You haven't got to worry about layering loads of things. Actually, it's better than that. It's the perfect black jumpsuit. It's, you haven't got to think about anything. If your knickers and your bra are your cleansing, then this goes on the top and you're ready to go out the door. And that's what I love about these products. I think they're really interesting. It's lightweight, really lovely. It's that typical gel cream moisturizing serum that I love, but actually these are all super hydrating. They really are lovely. Uh, unless you've got a very dry skin, you would not need to go on top with a moisturizer. So what you're getting is you're getting six different peptides, hyaluronic acid, vitamin B3, 42 pounds. It is fragranced, but I love it. It's a very, very, very nice single step, step serum. Well done, Origins. 
42 pounds. Now, the original one that I mentioned, and I don't have it here, but I'll drop in a picture because it's only simply that I've used it all, is the AHC Eyes for Face Cream. And that was essentially a super sized eye product that AHC, who are Korea's number one skincare brand, launched over here. It's now gone into Superdrug. And it's £26, and if you look at what it's got in it, in it you, you understand what you're now expecting from that first step gel, cream, serum, stroke, moisturiser, all in one. Glycerin, hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, ceramides. Um, it's got loads of amino acids, so it's got things like tyrosine and leucine and glutamic acid and stuff like that. It's also got coenzyme Q10 and lactic acid in. I mean, that's basically short of vitamin C and retinol, which you're not going to get from these products, trust me, because they are formulated to be used everywhere. Here, right close to the eyes, down the neck, over the lips, down the chest. But if you're looking for a single step, I can't be bothered in the morning. Do you know what I mean, that attitude? I can be bothered in the morning, but I'm telling you what my followers say to me. If you want a single step product that will protect your skin, hydrate your skin, and have actives in it, that will calm, protect, boost barrier function, things like that, these are the things to go for. That's the AHC Four Eyes Face Cream, 26 pounds, super drop. It's a really, really nice product. Now, let's go a little bit more expensive. And I have worked with Bravage recently and I need to declare that here, even though they're not paying me to do this. I'm now going to declare that. Elizabeth Arden owned Bravage. And in a way, this was the serum that inspired this. And the reason that I had this conversation was because I did a live with Dr. Dendi Engelman, who's the New York dermatologist that also works with Provage. And we were talking about this desire to simplify skincare and that, that essentially a busy, a really busy woman in her 40s and 50s, just they want a product that they can apply to their skin in the morning that ticks all the boxes, put their SPF on top and go. And I thought, it, I thought a lot about this and she's right. And obviously Provage is super high end. This is 180 pounds and it's the new Provage 2.0 serum. And obviously Provage is super high end and it is expensive. But then I worked out that actually what you're getting is four serums in one when you use this. And I've been using it a lot recently and it's more than hydrating enough for me. So you're getting Idebanone, which is their really powerful antioxidant. On the antioxidant scale, it's the most powerful um, antioxidant out there. It's actually a man-made, it's a, a, a version of a coenzyme Q10, but it's been reworked in a lab to become more powerful. It's more powerful than vitamin C and vitamin E and all those things, polyphenols, things like that. You've got peptides in it plus light oils. So what you're getting is you're getting a hyaluronic acid, a moisturizer, an antioxidant, a peptide, um, plus you're getting some brightening protective antioxidant effect from the vitamin C and vitamin E. So although 180 pounds is a lot, and I get that if you don't have the budget, I completely understand. I'm giving you different options here, but if you do have the budget and you just want a single step skincare every morning, put your SPF on top. It's a really, really, really nice product. Um, it, it has a lot of claims around it being an antioxidant and being brightening and all those things. The idea is that if you put an antioxidant on your skin that's quite powerful every day, your skin doesn't have to battle the elements. It doesn't have to battle and worry about pollution and cigarette smoke and all that sort of stuff. It can simply help to repair itself more efficiently. And so all the other active ingredients in it will also get to work better. Talking of which, uh, another brand I've worked with recently, but again, not talking about this product, is Strivectin. And I've talked about Strivectin a lot. It's an American brand that I absolutely love. I was introduced to it in 2002. They were the first people to talk to us about peptides. And they have this proprietary model molecule like nobody else has Idebanone in it. Um, this is Nia 114, which is a form of niacin. It's not niacinamide, but it's niacin that's been given an oil tail so it can get into your skin. And I met the founders, the, the husband and wife team, uh, the Jacobsons back in 2000, I think, and five when I went to New York. And their original research was about this molecule and how it could be used to uh, target skin cancers and prevent and repair skin cancers. And then actually in the process, they found that also there was a version of it they could put into skincare and it would basically supercharge any skincare you use. So what I love about this system is, yes, obviously you've got this powerful 
Naya 114, which is actually Miristil nicotinate. So it's a sort of supercharged version of a niacinamide, but isn't a niacinamide, but it's related to it. It's a niacin, it's a nicotinamide. So it gets into the skin, but that actually then makes all your other actives on top work more efficiently. So they think it is involved in the metabolic pathways of turning vitamin C, all forms of vitamin C esters into the active form of vitamin C and all forms of retinol esters into the active form of vitamin A in the skin. So I think that's really interesting, but more importantly, it does repair your barrier function. It's got a, a peptide in it, the palmitol tripeptide, which they're famous for, plus it's got vitamin um, e in it as well and it's got a calendula antioxidant in it as well but what is interesting about it it has glycerin and it has a gallic acid in it a, a di, di, diglucosyl gallic acid which brightens the skin as well but it's quite a unique formula and I want to show it to you if you've got dry skin and you're worried about a single step serum stroke lotion and you think you're not going to get enough moisturizer and I want to show you what it's like because actually what it is is it's it's almost like a gel oil and it's called, um, let me get the exact name. So it's, it's Strivectin Wrinkle Recode Line Transforming, Line Transforming Melting Serum. And what it does is you warm it between the hands and it sort of goes from being an oil balm into a serum. And there is, as far as I know, no other feeling like it and you leave it on your skin. So it feels like a cleansing balm, but you leave it on your skin and the effect effect in terms of hydrating lines around your eyes, under your eyes. If you've got dry skin that feels really dehydrated and you're one, wor worried about a single step product, this is absolutely incredible. That tiny little pea size amount warms and spreads between your skin. You get all of that Nia 114 mirror still nicotine action, which is kind of quite unique, but you get vitamin E, you get a peptide in it as well. So you've got an antioxidant, a peptide, you've got a glycerin hit as well. You've got a brightening effect. I mean, it's nice. It sits so well under makeup. It's sort of unique in this category. I can think of no other product like it. I mean, it just instantly, it takes years off your skin. Look at that dry wrinkled old hand and then that hand there. I'm terrible at putting hand creams on. That one is 69 pounds, by the way. Uh, see what I mean? So these are these products are a little bit more expensive, but don't forget you're replacing two or three serums by using them. And then I want to mention Emmapel. And Emmapel, I've talked about a lot. Emmapel is a range specifically for menopausal skin. And they have a serum that's 180 pounds. There's only two products in the range. There's a night cream that has, is loaded with retinol. And then they have a day serum. And the active ingredient is something called methyl estradiol propanoate, MEP, which basically uh, clinical trials has been proven. And the reason it's aimed at women my age, it's been proven to mimic and to trigger estrogen receptors in the skin. So to make it feel like it's getting estrogen. So it's like a it's sort of estrogen mimicker within the skin. But they haven't just sat back on that that active ingredient, um, which obviously is for women sort of, you know, perimenopausal and above. So if you're not, fast forward through this bit. They've also got hyaluronic acid in it. They've got antioxidants, peptides and niacinamide. And that's going back to what I think you should expect from an all-in-one serum if you just want a single step. Yes, it should have glycerin and hyaluronic acid in it as a humectant. Yes, it should have some sort of niacinamide, Nia144, um, Nia114 in it. So that's the strivectin version and the version that other people use, the sort of water soluble one versus the oil soluble one. Yes, it should have an antioxidant in it, obviously. And then I think you can sort of expect peptides as well in it. So what you end up with is a single step product that goes on easily to freshly cleanse skin, it has an antioxidant, in it has a glycerin or hyaluronic acid humectant in it, probably will have some sort of vitamin B3 in it, some sort of niacinamide or the Nia114 that strivectin has. Plus it'll have an antioxidant in, it might have a low level vitamin C or vitamin E in it as well, and peptides. So what you've got is you've got this hydrating, protective, repairing, barrier function, boosting, and then with any luck, a little bit of peptides as well, just to help boost collagen production over time. And that's essentially all your skin needs in the morning, because then you put your SPF on your top and you're ready to go. You can obviously put vitamin C serums at a higher strength under all of these, they would go really, really well. They don't necessarily say that they're a single step. I'm just saying that for me, they would work as a single step. If you want to simplify your skincare, what single step products are you loving? So I've gone from first generation, 
through to brand new active ingredients, through to a unique melting gel serum formula, to two brand new ones, a, a reworking super boosted version of Provage, and then the brand new Origins one as well. And then don't forget that where this idea came from was that original idea that came over from AHC when they launched over here and they launched an eye cream for the whole of the face. And I thought that's really strange. And then I realized what they were trying to do was simplify skincare. All of these products act as an eye cream. They all work as a lip cream. They all work as a neck cream and a chest cream. They all work as an antioxidant, a hyaluronic acid, a niacinamide stroke, Nia 114, plus they have added peptides in them. So what else do you need? Maybe a vitamin C and an SPF, maybe not even the vitamin C, but definitely the SPF. But you can get your SPF also from your makeup if you are stuck like me inside all day. I know it's a politically incorrect thing to say, but generally I've got an SPF 50 on my face every single day from my makeup. People say it's not enough to protect me, but why am I completely undamaged? Some damaged from here to here and then damaged from here. Obviously if I go out, if I actually leave the house, I do wear a proper SPF as well. There you go. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. This was specifically made for an Instagram follower. Tell me what other videos you want me to create. I just love the idea of simplifying skincare, of sort of getting back to formula is king. What brand are you loving and trusting right now? They are all brands that I trust, that I implicitly trust. I do think that moving forward, SkinCeuticals might end up developing a product that would be like the Metacell, but with the hit of vitamin C in it, and that would be the dream product. Put some peptides in, happy days. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and I'll see you soon.